Joining us now is the CEO of Illumina, Francis D'Souza. Francis, thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you. So you guys put out your fourth quarter results last night. You made a forecast for 2018 of about 13 to 14 percent revenue growth coming in ahead of analyst expectations. You guys are the biggest maker of genome sequencing equipment in the world. What's driving that growth? Are more people getting their genome sequenced? You know, uh, the numbers that we, we posted yesterday, both for Q4 and for 18, were bigger than anybody expected. And, and what we're seeing is a number of the markets for genomics are really inflecting at this point. So we saw a really huge growth in the consumer genomics market and we saw a really strong growth in the clinical market where in reproductive health and oncology we're really starting to see genomic testing being adopted as a standard of care so after many years of great research discoveries where people were saying look when are we going to get to a place where it's really being used we're now at a place where it's really being used and that's showing up in the really strong numbers and so you also introduced a new sequencing machine yesterday it's going to cost nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars just under that twenty thousand dollar mark what is that going to do for the market who's that going to serve you know what's really exciting about the IC, which we launched yesterday is that it makes the power of genomics so the ability to read dna available to a lot more labs than have had access to it before. And so now there are tens of thousands of labs that can get the accuracy of our sequencing uh, capabilities, but for under $20,000. So I think that opens up a whole new set of markets where you'll see smaller labs that are doing applications like identifying hospital-acquired infections or testing for foodborne pathogens. And so this really democratizes access to the power of genomics. How does that price point compare with your next most expensive sequencer? Well, we now have a range of products. So at the top end, you can buy NovaSeq, which is the most powerful sequencer available anywhere, uh, and that costs about a million dollars. So we have a million dollar instrument, we have an instrument, the NexSeq, about $250,000, uh, we have the MySeq at 100000 we have uh, the MiniSeq at 50000 and now the iSeq for under 20. Tell us about the growth in consumer genetics. You have companies like 23andMe, Ancestry.com, just a lot of these companies popping up. How is, and they, almost all of them use Illumina machines, right? Illumina technology. Sure. How does that drive your business? You know, uh, 2017 was definitely a breakout year uh, for consumer genomics. If you look at the number of people that did uh, gen genomic testing through one of those services, it really just more than doubled from the year before. And a number of things are coming into play. One is, you know, it's been many years that these, these vendors have been out in the market talking about consumer genomics and what it could do for you. And really, genealogy has taken off as one of those breakout applications where people are really connecting with, identifying where they're coming from. Another thing that's played out is through the technology advances that, that Illumina has brought to the market, we've been able to lower the price of doing sequencing. And what we found in the market is, you know, as you lowered the price over the years from $250 a test to $100 a test, and now in some cases to $50 a test, that's really expanded the market in a huge way for these tests. Well, two years ago here at JP Morgan, you guys made an announcement of the creation of Grail, which is a company working on a blood test for early stage cancers, for multiple cancers. And at the time, Jay Flatley, uh, who was the CEO at the time, made a goal of that test being available by 2019. Is that still a realistic goal for Grail? So the idea behind Grail is that you, know, you can do a simple blood test and in the blood you can identify if somebody has some form of cancer in the body because that cancer is shedding DNA into the blood that can be picked up from the blood test. Grail is making a huge amount of progress. What they've done is they've kicked off two very foundational studies where they're actually enrolling uh, both healthy patients as well as patients that have cancer and starting to do those big studies to see what you can find in the blood. And the question is not if you can find cancer, because we know you can. The question is, what types of cancer can you find? And the other questions are, what stages? Can you see some that are stage zero, stage one, as well as some that are in stage four? So Grail's making a lot of progress. They're out there uh, actually recruiting people for their clinical trials, and then the test for broad consumer use will come out in a few years. In a few years, so maybe not 2019. Maybe not 2019. All right, Francis D'Souza, we look forward to, to talking more. Thank you for joining Thank you, us. Man. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.